What's going on today, people? You already know what it is. It's your boy, Tunchi, and this is YBE TV. Uh, first thing I want to do is, of course, give out my email address, 1YBETV at gmail.com. You can hit me up on that email, and I will be shooting a video in your honor. I will shout your name out. I will shout out any of your social media networks that you would like to. And also, I will answer your question live and address to you. So, I got a question right here from Boss Camp TV. What's going on? Family, I have been in tune with you, and your videos are great information. I'm new to the industry. I got my CDL Class A license, uh, and my trainer offered me a deal in return for me to work for him for two years as an employee in return. I, I will own his truck after two years minus the down payment because he was an owner-operator contracts to own and offer me extra time home to work for him. Do you think that's a good idea? <laughs> I think that can be a great idea, and I think it could be a terrible idea, and I'm going to explain both sides. When you're dealing with somebody who has one or two trucks, a lot of the times they really don't want you to own that truck. That can be the bad part. Just like a lot of these companies, they might try to weasel you out of some things. But what's the great thing about this is... Is more of a one-on-one. -on -one. It's a lot less yellow tape. It's a lot less lawyers involved. It's a lot reps, less gibberish on a piece of paper that you need to send to somebody to understand. So what you should do is, when you have a sit-down with them, you need to draw up some type of contract. Draw up a contract, and then you present it to him. And then you can send that to a lawyer to look over. I have prepaid legal. It's, a, uh, it's called Legal Shield. They look over contracts and they will make corrections for you and it's totally free of charge. If you got that, you shoot that to your people with prepaid legal. If you got a family member that's got prepaid legal, shoot it to those people. And what will happen is you will end up getting the contract looked at. You will be able to protect yourself and you'll be able to protect that future asset. Another thing is make sure that if you do this, make sure you incorporate, make sure you change the title out of his name and put a lien on it in his name if you're going to do it that way. Those would be the best ways to go about doing it after you go so far in it. Just to give him some leeway, you say, look, I will work with, for you for the first three months to show you I'm serious. Just make sure that you're paying me correctly, and if everything go right, what I want you to do is we need to go down to the, the DMV, and we need to change this title over to my name, but you can put a lien on it as the owner of it. You understand? So that way you'll be able to protect yourself, and that way if he gets upset with you, he just can't snatch the truck from you. You understand? So it would just give you a lot more protection because you don't want to end up getting the short end of the stick just believing in somebody just because the deal sound good. But long as the money is sounding good and two years minus the down payment and long as that truck note is fair, sounds like a plan to me. Also, make sure you do your inspection. Make sure you do an inspection. Make sure you do an oil sample to check to make sure there's no metal in it, to make sure that the, the, uh, the antifreeze is not mixing with the oil. It should make sure that there's not no note, no, it's not no fees or no debts that's on. Because if he tell you you're on in two years and you add it up, you can pay 43000 for it, come to find out he owes 63000 on it. You see what I'm saying? Make sure he has the title to it. Also, make sure you do a pay for a one-hour inspection. You want to check all, make sure there's no air leaks, make sure the air pressure is depart, make sure that you ain't got no suspension uh, problems. And last but not least, last but not least, last but not least, do a dyno. That's when they plug your truck up to a computer and they run it and they make it feel like it's under load and it throws out the horsepower, it throws out everything about that truck. That way, you will know you will be getting a top knock piece of machinery so i hope that helps you out bro keep on watching keep being a subscriber tell people about the channel you already know what it is if you don't want to end up in a box think outside of it why be